So, <clears throat> good, good afternoon, all of you. In the last class, we have discussed about the mean, median, and mode. Those are very important for the machine learning tasks, right? So we'll go through some practicals today. And for that, we want uh, Python, ID and ID means as in my case, I have installed spider and you can also use this one. Either you can use uh, Jupyter also, but I suggest that go for Python. Okay. So now first one by one uh, mean you all got it. What is mean? And I have gone through your examples also. So I know that now you understand what is mean, mode, median, and the differences between them, right? Can I assume it should? My voice coming to you clearly, right? Yes, sir. Okay, very good. So, mean ke liye, for mean, we are going to use numpy. Okay, <clears throat> I suggest that all of you take a screenshot of this so that after this class, I'll give some time for which, uh, for these practicals that you will do by yourself and you will show the results by posting the same in the group. So this one is for me. For me, what I have said, I'm going to use NumPy. So NumPy, what it actually does is a kind of package you can consider, you can consider this as a package, which provides array based calculations and means the functions required for the same. And I hope that you all know what is array. Okay. So now see, import numpy, then speed is equal to this. If you look at this, what is this exactly? Can you tell me? Array. It's an array. All of you agree with that. Why it is an array? Can you tell me? So be hunapaya sa. So be please give response whatever the questions I'm asking, so that I know that you are there and you are listening what I am explaining. Okay, and I hope that you all have installed this uh, spider because uh, I think I already told you that uh, whatever we will learn here, we'll go through them practically also. So if you have not yet installed this spider, then do install it. Okay, because today you have to go through uh, this. I have, uh, sir, I have some Python, sir. Hello, uh, what, what you have said, sorry? Uh, sir. Uh, my ID is Python, sir. Is it okay, sir? Okay, okay. Anything which is supporting Python, so you can okay. use it. Okay, sir. I want the outputs only. Okay. So uh, now I'm com coming back to it. That why this is an array. Omen said that this is an array, right? Yes, sir. Because if you see these numbers, this belongs to what? Integer, right? Am I mixing with someone else here? Any no, number? No. So of course this is an array. No, sir. And I already told you that uh, we are going to use this numpy whenever some array-based calculation is there. Mane array-based calculation ke liye zobi functions ki zorat padegi. You will get those functions from numpy. ठीक है? So import numpy हमने किया क्यों किया? क्योंकि ये जो हम perform करने जा रहे हैं means we are going to calculate the mean and mean can be found from uh, as a function from numpy. Now for that, we have defined this speed array. Now x is equal to numpy dot mean. Always remember this dot stands for membership functions, means membership operator, sorry. Means whenever we use dot, this means that this particular functions belong to this one. Okay? So mean of numpy, we are using this. Now we are passing the parameter as speed here. And speed is the, this is the array. 
सो यहाँ पे यार तो सबे बुझी पाला ऐड की हुए ऐसे आमी एक्स नाम और वेरिएबल तो की बेस वैल्यू फाइंड आउट कोई बोल लोइसू जी तो नाम पी होए नाम पी पर आमी स्पीड पैरामीटर तो पास कोई सु मीन फंक्शन होले बिकास मीन फंक्शन इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नाम पी ओके नाम फ्रॉम दैट वी आर ट्राइंग तू फाइंड आउट द with the help of print functions. So, here you program link about <coughs> as usual. You need to save it for save. I have already saved it, or you can use control S and give the extension as PY, or you can see select Python files. Take a Python files and read PY. Remember it now to execute this. You can see that this this button everywhere. This is the same, or you can just press F5. This is the no, means this is the control part. You know all know what is control. Control means where we'll get that input and output. Input means sometimes we need to pass the command line arguments, or then we'll get some output here. Control is directly related to our processor. So we get the result here. What result we have got here? 89.769. Okay. So yeah, mean function up. Use karoge, SI kus ek array input karke, ap uska min nikaloge. This is the first practical you have to, to do it today. May I go to the next? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Next practical is to find out the median. Now, quickly answer me what is median? Uh, so, after sorting the mid fellow. After sorting the values, we try to find out the mid from that, right? Yes, sir. Okay. So, ये दिख रहा है आप लोगों को। फिर से मैंने एक array define किया यहाँ पे speed और यहाँ पे कुछ अलग values put out किया। I have put some different values here. Okay. Now, similarly, मैंने क्या बोला आप लोगों को? Numpy बहुत important है। हम numpy को सीखने की पूरा कोशिश करेंगे। Whatever the important functions are there. So, यहाँ फिर से मैंने import numpy किया हो और numpy से फिर से direct median function को use किया हो और parameter we are passing as speed. So, क्या होना चाहिए इसमें median? जल्दी बताओ। What will be the median here? Tell me quickly. Last class me kiya tha bulna mat. Jaldi batao what will be the median here? What answer we got? Eighty seven. Right. So I hope that you all got eighty seven as your answer. Now one two three four five six seven eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So you have 13 numbers. It is easy for us to find out the median. What will happen if we have even numbers? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You have how many numbers? Hai? 12, right? So 12, what will we do? First, we will sort them. Then we will take the average of the middle two numbers. All you agree with that? What will be the median here? Quickly answer this. Okay, time up. So let's calculate it. We are getting the median as 86.5. Yeah, practical apko karna hai. Okay, jitna me dikhate ja raha hu, sabka screenshot loge or sabka practical karke aazi. After the class, 10 minutes of time, you'll get you to do this and show it to me. So, median bhi aplo ka clear ho gaya. Kyunki, mene kya bola, isko arrange kiya, sort kiya, uske baad jo middle to number hai, uska address liya. Now, coming to the next, that is mode. Now, can anybody tell me what is mode? एक एक करके बोलो क्या है मोड क्या है सर हाईएस्ट ओकरेंस नंबर इन द डाटा सेट ओके नेक्स्ट
नेक्स्ट बोलो वट इज मोड कम ऑन आई हैव आई एक्सप्लेन इट इन लास्ट क्लास राइट so as hoven said sir highest operands number of the same of same number like in a data set ha theek hai okay next ठीक है ये तो आप लोग कर ही लोगे मुझे ये बताओ कि ये इस इस फॉर दिस पार्टिकुलर डाटा सेट व्हाट विल बी द मोड जल्दी बताओ देन आई विल एक्सप्लेन दिस प्रोग्राम दिखाई दे रहा है ना मेरा स्क्रीन यू कैन सी माय स्क्रीन राइट Yes, sir. Then tell me quickly. <clears throat> ये क्वेश्चन सभी के लिए है मुझे लगता है कि अभी आप यू विल टेक टाइम टू आंसर दिस सो यू आंसर मी सिक्स समन से गुड I think uh, Homan, right? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. बाकी लोग कुछ बोल क्यों नहीं रहे हो समझ में तो आ रहा है ना मैं पूरा बेसिक से स्टार्ट किया हूँ I have started from very basic. Otherwise, I can keep these topics, but I thought that the uh, statistics portion you have to know for doing this uh, practicals. And even for the Python, I am starting from the basic, so you don't need to worry. But you should be very interactive in the class. Okay, I have got answer for at least from at least a uh, uh, one student. So let's see the practical. Uh, what is the answer? Yes, how many is right? Answer is eighty six. Why? Because if you look at the data set, ninety nine, eighty six, eighty seven, this thing, eighty six is the max and uh, a maximum number of times repeated in this data set, right? And if we count this, it is three. तो इसको इंप्लीमेंट करने के लिए मींस टू फाइंड आउट द मोड नाउ वी हैव टू डिपेंड ऑन वन मोर मींस यू कैन से पैकेज दैट इज स्काईपी ओके स्काईपी देखो मैं जब यहां इसके पास ले आ रहा हूं कर्सर तो अपने आप यहां दिखाई दे रहा है कि व्हाट इज दिस एक्जेक्टली स्काईपी स्टैंड्स फॉर साइंटिफिक कंपटिंग पैकेज फॉर पाइथन मैं मैक्सिमम जो भी पैकेजिंग मशीन लर्निंग का प्रैक्टिकल बताऊंगा आप लोगों को दैट विल बी using this skype so our main target is to learn this numpy then skype okay skype is the main part where we uh, will get the maximum number of max, uh, machine learning practicals to get it get them implemented so from skype we are importing stats and under the stats we have a function mode now x is equal to stage dot mode as is well speed is passed here as parameter we got the answer now again you need to do this practical but you will use some separate numbers some different numbers sorry some different numbers you will use and you will find the mode now i'm coming back to the next practical next uh, practical uh, excuse me sir ah uh, yes uh, sir sir yet mode without pull what ami uh, to use kori bonar ni that's what i am saying that uh, in this case actually we are depending on separate states of packets that is stage for statistics okay because in case of mode we are depending on two functions first this this values are analyzed listen carefully jo bhi main bol raha hu jo ji tumko koi asu bhalke suniba these values are analyzed first okay then that number which is maximum number of times repeated here to be found out second task third how many times it being uh, means repeated here that also to be calculated you can also do use it means that numpy but for that you have to implement uh, means two three different lines of code but using skype and stage function you can directly use this mode 
that's the difference and we always go for the one which will be a short test one or means which will consuming shortest number of codes okay so kyunki ek ye jo mode function use kar raha hu iske isko use nahi karke bhi main isko find out kar sakta hu i need just three lines of code there i can easily do, uh, do the same with the numpy but now using the mode function it is it is done only with the same statement okay got it yes sir uh, i think home and right when you got it yes sir okay now coming to the next part that is standard deviation before that i need to tell you uh, when i have to explain this what is standard deviation okay so standard deviation is a number that describe how spread out the values are values kitna spread ho raha hai mere data set jo hai isme kitna matlab spread hai jaise aapko practically dikhaunga ye number hi le lo ye number dikhai de raha hai 86 87 88 86 87 85 86 right मतलब ये है कि ये वैल्यूज कहाँ से कहा मतलब ये ए दोनों के बीच क्या डिफरेंस है और इनके बीच क्या डिफरेंस है दिस डेविएशन वी वांट टू फाइंड आउट विद द हेल्प ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन सो वी सिंपली कॉल इट हाउ स्प्रेड आउट द वैल्यूज आर दैट विल बी गिवन बाय स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन सो ए लो स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन मीन्स दैट मोस्ट ऑफ द नंबर आर क्लोज टू मीन और एवरेज वैल्यू एंड ए हाई स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन मीन्स द वैल्यूज आर स्प्रेड आउट ओवर ए वाइडर रेंज आप can anybody tell me what i mean to say through this line standard deviation low hai iska matlab kya hai sare jo values hai wo average ke paas so average value hai uske close mein hai obviously maine kya bola ki how spread the values are agar values ke beech zyada gap rahega to wo mean se zyada distance mein rahega agar kam rahega standard deviation iska matlab kya hai they are more close to the mean आ गया सबको समझ में यस यस सर। सर। हाई स्टैंडर्ड मींस दे आर स्प्रेडिंग वाइडर रेंज। नाउ लेट्स कंसीडर दिस एग्जांपल। दिस टाइम वी हैव रजिस्टर सपोज स्पीड ऑफ सेवन कार्ड्स। ठीक है ये दिखाई दे रहा है आपको नाउ इसका स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन हमने फाइंड आउट किया तो हमें मिला जीरो पॉइंट नाइन मीन्स वॉट most of the values are within the range of 0.9 from the mean of this particular array theek hai aur iska mean agar find out karoge to the value is 86.4 now iski jagah pe agar humne dusra ek set liya dusra ek array liya suppose 32 111 138 aise humne kuch aur values liya ab values agar aap log carefully observe karoge to dikhai dega ki ye values मीन से जो मीन निकाल रहे निकालोगे इसका इससे बहुत ज्यादा इधर उधर है राइट दे आर स्प्रेडिंग आउट विथ ए वाइडर रेंज तो इसका जो स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन होगा ये ज्यादा होगा या कम होगा कैन एनी बडी टेल मी बेसी हो बने कम होगा ज्यादा होगा सर ज्यादा होगा सर वेरी गुड तो इसका स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ज्यादा है तो ये दो प्रैक्टिकल हम फिर से करते हैं तो पहले ये तो एकदम सिंपल सा है स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन आप डायरेक्ट नाम पी से कर रहे हो तो ये एरे हमने डिफाइन किया ठीक है आप यू नो दैट नाउ व्हाई वी आर यूजिंग नाम पी क्योंकि मीन हमसे कहा मीन हमने कहा से निकाला था मीन फंक्शन के जरिए और जो कहा डिफाइन है नंपाई ओके तो डायरेक्ट अगर मीन है तो आप डायरेक्ट स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन निकाल सकते हो आप, आप लोगों के लिए और एक टास्क है कि स्टैंडर्ड डेविशन का मैथमेटिकल फॉर्मूला क्या है ये लिख के तुरंत मुझे हमारे जो व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप में है उसमें बताओगे ठीक है नाउ द प्रोग्राम इज वेरी सिंपल वी हैव यूज दिस डाटा सेट और यू कैन से एरे एंड देन नाम पी डॉट एस टी डी स्पीड एंड प्रिंट एक्स सो लेट सी व्हाट इज द वैल्यू कमिंग हियर सो जीरो पॉइंट नाइन जीरो थ्री फाइव जीरो बिकॉज द वैल्यू सर क्लोजली मीन्स एसोसिएटेड और आई कैन से दैट दे आर वेरी मच क्लोज टू द average or mean that is 86.7 but the same thing if i am taking this particular array if we see the answer then we got the answer at 37.84 so yahan se do point bahut carefully observe karna kyunki aap logo ko baad mein data science mein ya machine learning ka koi bhi practical mein bahut zarurat padegi aap logo ko ye hai ke 
अगर स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन ज्यादा है इसका मतलब ये है कि आपका जो डेटा सेट है वो डेटा सेट में डाटा वैल्यूज स्पार्सली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड है वट आई है स्पार्सली डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ठीक है अगर कम है स्टैंडर्ड डेविएशन इसका मतलब ठीक है आपके जो डेटा पॉइंट है दे आर नाउ क्लोजली एसोसिएटेड दिस टू टर्म्स काइंडली रिमेम्बर दैट so with this i'm stopping right here but you are not going to stop because you have to carry do all the practicals and you have to complete this within 120 and you will post this in our whatsapp group thank you okay sir